So a little bit about my story is I entered foster care at two years old with my siblings. We spent the first few years growing up together in different foster homes until eventually we all were separated. Personally, I went through about 32 to 35 foster homes in that time. At 18, I aged out of foster care and I ended up being homeless. And that is the case, unfortunately, for a lot of foster youth who turn 18. There were programs in, in place, but they, their programs weren't geared to help me. Their option for me was to go to the local homeless shelter, and I was like, I can't do that, you know? After about three years of that and struggling, I decided to join the National Guard, and that's how I got on my feet. Sorry, I got a little emotional. So I walked into the recruiter's office, and I was like, hey, like, I'm 20 years old. Like, I've been homeless for, you know, on and off for like the past three years. What kind of job can I do? Like, what, what do I need to do? Let me, let me join. He said, yeah. He said, are you hungry? I said, yes. He bought me some Applebee's. And he was like, how would you like to be a mechanic? I'm like, that sounds great. I'm already dirty and homeless. I guess I'll <laughs> get dirtier. So in the guard, I started as a Chinook helicopter mechanic. And then I was promoted to a crew chief, which I just fly with the pilots and make sure that the aircraft is stable and uh, help them with with starting up and landing and flying and aerial surveillance. So I did start speaking out about foster care, I guess through my Instagram about two years ago. It took me a really long time to recognize um, and pinpoint exactly what I wanted to say because I don't want, I didn't want to give foster care a bad name, but I did want people to be more aware of the flaws that are in the system. And it kind of evolved into foundations reaching out to me, asking me if I would partner with them to do fundraisers. I have a lot of teenagers who are aging out of foster care currently reach out to me. And then I also have foster parents reach out to me and ask me what the best approach is for being a good foster parent. So the difficulties that moving homes brings up in kids is just a really like an inability to trust because your situation is always changing. It creates just like this uh, air of like anxiety in kids. So you're constantly moving and you never know when you're gonna move. Usually it's kind of sprung upon you and then you, you know, you have to pack up your stuff in trash bags and you get, you know, an hour notice. And so you just never really feel like safe or secure or stable in any of the situations that you're in. It just kind of brings up that just inability to settle anywhere. I guess what I feel after have like having been through so much and always really never knowing what to expect of my life. Yes, the Guard has allowed me to, you know, pick where I want to go and pick where I want to establish roots. After so much uncertainty in my life, I have definitely come to a place where I do feel calm and I feel confident and I feel just, I guess, at ease for the first time in my life. And the Guard definitely allowed me to, to achieve that. I have a job that I love, I have outreach projects that I do, and um, it gives me a sense of purpose, like it wasn't all for nothing. I mean, I, I'm able to use my story and share that with other people, and it allows me to, to heal in my own way, and it also allows me to spread awareness about what is going on in foster care and what changes do need to be made.